what I say. Uh, my phone keeps trying to... What the world? Oh, this must not be tight enough. All right. Okay. Now it's not moving. Perfect. I think we're live. Okay. We're good. Okay. I think we're live. Well, welcome, ladies. It is the... Gosh, what is it already? The first Saturday of March. And we are back. Actually, second Saturday. Or second Saturday? Second. Yes. Oh my gosh, already? Okay. Already. So second, second Saturday of March, the seven seas of real estate. And uh, this week we have a very special guest with us, Miss LaShonda White. She's a real estate agent here in Florida. And she's joined us today. We are going to be talking about essentially our um, trials and or our challenges as uh, real estate agents and some of our experiences and how we've overcome them. So um, I'll let uh, Vera Lynn kick off today's episode, um, but I'm looking forward to hearing from both of you gals a little bit more about your experiences and, um, you know, one door closes, another one opens. So let's kick it off. Vera Lynn? Awesome. Yeah, awesome. No, well, look, welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome. We are here with the seven C's of real estate, coffee collaboration, conversation, contracts, closings, corporation and coordination so we're just going to talk about you know like uh mandy said we're going to go ahead and talk about our trials and challenges and how we overcome them as agents for our first couple of years getting into this business um but uh, again my name is Marilyn porter with florida realty and commercial here in florida and i have lashonda with us here lashonda you want to introduce yourself Hi everyone, my name is LaShonda White. I am also here in Florida and I am also with Verilyn at Florida Realty and Commercial LLC. Yes, yes, awesome. and welcome. And like I said, we were just going to have a conversation today. Um, you know, we're excited about, you know, talking about the different things in real estate that we overcome or deal with during the day, during the week, <laughs> in our daily lives. And um, I wanted to start by um, kind of just kind of giving us a little bit of an introduction to LaShonda. So LaShonda, if you don't out. mind, we're going to get started with you because yeah, uh, they've already heard from us. But tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us a little bit of how you got into real estate. Okay. Um, well, again, my name is LaShonda. Um, here in the Brevard County. Specifically, I live in Palm Bay. Um, and had my license uh a little over two years now and the purpose for me even deciding to jump into this real estate adventure um was honestly i was divorced i divorced i was now single mom um from that point i had to now be learn to become like the breadwinner, head of my household, um, and it was literally me and my son moving from Maryland back down to Florida, where I was closer to my family, and um, we were used to living in a house, so at that point, I had to, you know, didn't know the area, so we, you know, had to find a place for us to stay, so there was an apartment, but I knew that I wanted stability for me and my son. Mm -hmm. I knew that, you know, we were ex-military, so we moved a lot. So I knew coming to this phase of my life, I needed stability and I wanted a home, mm -hmm. you know? And for me as a single mom, it was extremely intimidating because it's a house. So what happens if the pipe point, you know? What happens if all of these things that are, can seem to be intimidating, was extremely intimidating to me but i did it i was like okay if somebody else can do it i can do it too so mm -hmm. just going through that process and honestly I, I don't even remember the real estate agent's name but she was so easy going and laid back and she was the one that sparked me because at that point she was actually transitioning from being a teacher to going into real estate mm -hmm. And that was, she was transitioning and her and I just, I just remember her and her and I just having like so many like personal conversations and, and that's what sparked me as, you know, going into real estate. Cause at that point I had a lot of my friends, family saying, you're going to buy a house by yourself. And I was like, yeah, 
<laughs> and I think that could be like intimidating, but especially for like, for me, it was like for single moms, because there are a lot of us out here, we're single moms, but it can be intimidating. It can be all of those things. But the day I went to closing, right, and got my mm -hmm. little key, right, that picture is still in my phone, right? Mm -hmm. It's an amazing feeling. And that just the stability and how proud my son felt, right, to for us to be in our home, that's an amazing feeling. And so for me going into real estate, it was like, I want to be able to share in that experience. Yeah. And for me, it was like looking at those single moms, I can be like, like that's been, I've gone through that process. Yeah. So no matter what, you'll still be able to get through it, you know, like, and it could be intimidating. Like, trust me, I had to put a new roof on my house. Guess what? I put the roof on my house. <laughs> the AC broke. Guess what? Yeah. If you want to have cool air, you'll fix it, right? <laughs> so all those things can be intimidating. And it's honestly, especially for us as women, because I'm not handy like that. But you'll learn some things and then the other things, you'll just you know, find you a good handy band, you know, all of these getting homeowners, like a home warranty, which is something that I have. Mm -hmm. it's just learning how to put all those things in place to make it more comfortable for you. And so that was my purpose okay. for me wanting to go into real estate. Definitely the single moms. Awesome. Awesome. No, thank you for sharing that. That was, uh, that's amazing because, you know, a lot of people, you know, they have to have like, you always wonder what makes a person get into, you know, into the things that they do or they enjoy. Um, but and that's amazing to know that you did that, you know, and, and you over, you know, overcame that, that intimidating feeling and you still pushed through. Mm -hmm. So that's what's amazing. And just, and like you said, it's a great feeling to share that with someone else because you know how that felt inside yeah. for you and how that accomplished, you know, that goal for you. Even when people were saying, oh, you really want to do that? Oh, really? Are you sure? So that that's amazing to hear um, that you and, and thank you for sharing that, because that's awesome. That is awesome. And we, yeah. we are like here to support you in all that you do. <laughs> yeah. So, and that, that's one of the things that I kind of like about um, owning our own businesses. Right. When you when you own your own business or you go, you take a path of um, a. Uh, I don't know that I want to call it a career, but a, a job or a label, right? You, you chose industry real estate was to be your business builder. I appreciate the opportunity there because you really have the chance to say, I did this because I could relate with, or I want to do for, or I want to change. I don't think anyone could really say, maybe, maybe a few, I got into uh, selling insurance, right? Or your corporate job. Look at your corporate job. I work at the bank because I changed somebody's life. Do you do you really believe that, or did you just get a job at the bank because the bank was going to change your life by giving you money to pay your bills and you know and move forward? And so uh -huh. I think as we're talking today, and I know that we have plans to talk about the idea of career or business, I think this statement that uh, LaShonda has made really validates the reason why um, we yeah. all get into the business or a business uh -huh. of any kind, right? There's many industries mm -hmm. in which you can own your own business, but you do it because not just to make money or just to have a job, right? You're doing it because right. you truly want to either change yourself or change the lives of other people. And that's pretty powerful that you can own that. That's a big business to own. It's much yeah. more than finances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that's just, and that's just, the, like you said, it solidifies the, just the, the, that word actually well the word that comes in mind to me is the serving purpose mm -hmm. you know you want to feel you know you you want to feel and share that same feeling that feeling that you shared when you were at closing you want to have that you want to see that same experience for someone else yeah and and at the end of the day it's you're serving that role like you're you're trying to get that 
that person to that position to have that same feeling that you have. And, um, and no, it's, it's not about just getting into business for yourself, and, but it is a stepping stone to get into something else or to find your passion of serving other people as well as yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So I, I love that. I love that. Um, that LaShawn was able to share her story because I've been trying to get her to share that story forever. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, empathy, right? Empathy, <laughs> empathy. It's probably one of the most powerful fiduciary duties that we have actually in our role, you know, and I know here in, in Texas, it's actually um, labeled as one of our code of ethics in our, um, in tracks, canons, um, is to be able to be in your fiduciary role, empathetic. And, and your story speaks just that, you know? And I feel like if you can't be in that space, then you've just made your whole business to be transactional. And you might as well just be selling ice cream or something else. You know what I mean? Right. It, it's mm-hmm. just, then, then it doesn't become that, um, that part of change. So yeah, thank you for sharing. Mm-hmm. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, no. So this actually kind of goes into the next step because now, now that you know we're all agents and you know we want to have that experience because you know when when an agent comes into the into the into this path, they come on this path and they're like, oh, now I've got my license and going forward here, you have that question of what to do next, right? <laughs> um, and <laughs> just not even just for Shonda, but just even for ourselves, me and Andy. So I guess my next, it'll go into my next question of like, what challenges have either one of you experienced um, in your first couple of years of, you know, in being coming, you know, getting into real estate? Like, what what did you realize once you got that license? Like, where did what, where did your mind go? <laughs> 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 what, what challenges did you, did you come across? <laughs> oh, I, I, these these are always the fun ones, honestly. And I love I'm just I'm just gonna call it out. Like I love seeing those videos. Those are probably my favorite reels or my favorite you know posts on Instagram. Is watching people make a video about like, yeah, I got my real estate license, and it's like you know two two years later what I learned, you know, and it's like. It, it's like any skills, any skills trade, right? They're going to teach you how to run the machine and then yeah. oops, you got to run the machine and you cut your finger off. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> so I feel, oh like, my God. I feel I'm... like, you know, school prepares you for a lot of just the, the legal bound stuff. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, uh-huh. but it's not, it, it, and, and it's not like owning your own franchise, which we all are, even though we aren't brokers and we aren't truly owning the, the building, right? We all are franchise owners. We, (laughs) so it's like, how come, how come they didn't teach me in school how to, uh, grow my brand, right? How to market, you know, there's lots of stuff about contracts and, and how to, manage customers and clients and you know all those things i mean i can i can remember chapters and chapters about like the customer um and thinking okay well that's great but how do i get the customer to my door you know (laughs) yeah how do i tell the how do i tell the how do i tell the customer what i'm selling And, and, and oh by the way there's like um, 6,000 other of me here in Collin County that are telling customers that, you know, that they do this business, right? Yep. Oh my gosh. Yep. So it's like, if you could have a, if you could have a franchise in a box and even at that, I mean, um, you know, I can't necessarily speak specifically to this experience completely. Yes. And no, uh, based upon, um, my brokerage relationship, um, but I didn't have an experience where I went to a, a brokerage and felt like I couldn't get them to tell me how to make essentially a Mandy brand in a box. Does that make sense? Um, and I know that there are lots of 
I know there are lots of people who experience that, that, that go to brokerages and they feel like, okay, yeah, I'm supposed to be able to tap the shoulder of my broker and my broker is supposed to be able to tell me all of that. And, and they don't necessarily. Um, I also, I also feel like Owning your own business and being able to define that at the very beginning will help you to know um, how to move, how to move forward with that, you know. Um, so I guess to answer your question, I would say just personally, um, you know, some of the challenges that took place were that feeling of and, and people used to say it to me all the time. You don't know what you don't know. And mm -hmm. and. You don't know. You you don't know how to get started per se. You know, you're just throwing yourself to the fire. There's no set rules like, okay, you got your license, you you're ready to go. So the first thing that you should do is get a logo and you should get a this and you should get a that and then you should you know what I mean? It's like there there is no program. There's no program out there. And even when I asked uh -huh. mentors of mine you know, or people who were saying they were coming alongside of me to help me with my business. Like all I kept getting was get on the phone and call your sphere and let them know what you're doing. Like, okay, that's <laughs> great. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure because I've been in retail and I've been a part of businesses for a long time. That is my wheelhouse. But I'm pretty sure that when the gentleman that I used to work for at not only Dunkin' Donuts, my very first job, Dunkin' Donuts, and the gentleman that I worked for at the running store as I was in college, I'm pretty sure that he did not just get the brick and mortar <laughs> and then start calling his friends and say, I got a running store. I'm selling donuts. You can come get gasoline. You know what I mean? So, so it truly, you know, it, you know what, you're right. It's like, <laughs> that's not how it went. It's yeah, not, how, that's it not went. how it went. It's not yeah. how it went. He got his, <laughs> no. he, he made himself a business plan. He proved to the bank mm -hmm. that he could have his business, right? He proved that he was yep. going to roll out his business and he was going to roll out his business like this. He got his brick and mortar mm -hmm. space. He designed his brick and mortar space. He designed his brand. He designed his mission, right? All those things. He had in mind his perfect client or he had in mind who was going to come through his door and how he was going to get them to come through the door. He decorated his store and then he called every brand out there and said, I need you in my store so I can sell your products, right? And, and then he hired people he trained people, he serviced people, he advertised, he reached out to the community, he drew people in, he was very active all the time, right? Because everything you do should have a mindset of yeah. always be selling, right? And so mm -hmm. I'm thinking to myself, how is this any different? Mm -hmm. How is this any different? But no one ever tells you that that's where you should start. Everybody says, pick up a phone and call your sphere. You should go door knocking. You should tell everybody in your neighborhood that you're doing it. Because just so you know, I, again, live in a neighborhood of a thousand houses. And there are five other of me that have already been telling everybody that they're doing it. So it's like, you know, that, that's, uh -huh. not, that's not the answer. So I would tell you oh that that personally for mm -hmm. me, where some of my, my biggest challenges was twofold. A, figuring out what I was going to do. And it took me just a hot minute because for a while I looked at it as a completely new experience, right? And then I thought to myself, like, Mandy, you've been doing this. You've been wholesaling products and working with clients and working from your home and all of these things for 12 plus years, you know exactly what you're doing. This time, instead of doing it for apparel and clothes and somebody else's franchise building, you're doing it for your own, your own set of clients that want to buy their own house. So do exactly what you do here and put a house on it instead of putting a pair of shoes on it. You know what I mean? 
it took a hot set second for me yeah. to figure that out, right? And then it took me even more of a hot second to figure out how to turn off the noise. And I still and I still have that. I still have yeah. that right now. Someone always yeah. wanting to chirp, someone always wanting to chirp and tell me what what I should be considering or what I should be doing and this is going to help and and it's like great that's going to help but until you truly know what I am doing every step of the way you're just noise mm -hmm. you're just noise and if you're not in mm -hmm. my business day to day yep. like a business partner or you're not in my business like an employee someone where I'm truly meeting with every day, we're talking about inventory, we're making new orders for things, we're talking about training our staff, we're talking about how we're going to do more demo runs to bring more clients and customers in. Unless you're experiencing that type of thing with my real estate business, you're just noise. You're just noise. You're not in the know. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. so those have been some of my 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 experiences and or my challenges have just kind of been you know reminding myself that I don't have to reinvent the wheel I know what I'm doing and then also learning how to say thank you very much and then file the email thank you very much and and just turn off the noise you know and let me keep doing what I'm doing and know that things are not going to be instantaneous and they're going to come on the time in which I want them to come. And if I want them faster, then maybe I'll listen to the noise. But if I don't and I don't have time for it, it is what it is. It is what it is. So how about you girls? I know for myself, I can definitely, the, of all that you just said, Mandy, when you said the noise, that uh -huh. has been... Uh, the biggest yeah okay because like you know every body does it a different way and yeah. you're gonna hear all of these different ways all of these different opinions coming to you mm -hmm. and i'm a person that noise makes me shut down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm that type mm -hmm. of person if i get like too much information I'm super overwhelmed and I'll just shut down and then I'll just come back into my cocoon. What are you supposed to do so, with it? Right. And so for me, yeah. my biggest trial has been me finally saying to myself, right? When I went, came to uh, Florida Realty was, okay, you've gotten into real estate for a reason, mm -hmm. for a serve your purpose right and for me it was hearing all of that i had no idea which direction i felt was going to be first and foremost within my comfort zone because i do have a comfort zone yeah i know that i had to force myself out of my comfort zone which i've done because i am here live on <laughs> <laughs> So you all know, I am. <laughs> so you know, that's like step one, right? Yeah. But I knew that I had to do it. So it was just like, like Mandy said, like how to turn the noise off because at the end of the day, your inner voice, right, is me learning how to listen to, find my inner voice and listen feel my inner voice, listen to my inner voice, because I know that's not going to lead me wrong. I know how I want my business to, like where I want it to go. And just like Mandy is saying, hear the email, file it away, mm -hmm. because you know it could be great, but that could have been great for you, but you know that that's not going to be great for you, but just learning how to turn that off and take in what you feel is going to help you prosper in your business because that part of it is hard because like mandy said when i got my license i'm like oh yeah i'm just gonna post a few times on social media and then all these people are gonna start calling me and say hey girl oh you're yeah. real estate oh, I want you. 
and that just doesn't happen, okay? <laughs> and so for me, because it didn't happen, I was like, okay, so what am I doing wrong when I wasn't doing anything wrong? I just wasn't consistently doing it, right? Yeah. yeah. And I, I know that was like my uh -huh. vagueness thing, right? It's just for me, I know the consistency part of it is stuff that I know that's a trial. So I know that that is something that not necessarily my comfort zone, getting more on social media, putting myself out there more on a consistent basis, you know, and just trying something. Yeah. And so that's just mm -hmm. been like something that I've just like over the past couple of weeks, Verilyn, because, you know, she's going to talk to me all the time and like just becoming and because Verilyn always tells, she tells me this and I haven't touched on this yet, but I know it's something that I have to do. I know Verilyn is in groups, like a group, and she's yeah. like being in touch with like-minded people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That alone is going to, you know, help me, right? Yeah. Be more comfortable with processes. You, you learn stuff. You're going to hear so so much stuff, so so many things. So it's like taking mm -hmm. what you, feel you can take in and the stuff that you don't feel don't apply to you, just let it go. And find, find, take the time. I mean, like you have time yeah. to figure out what kind of story you want to run. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. I, truly, I've always known that I've wanted to own my own business, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. I've, I have owned my own business underneath someone's corporation for a long right. time. Don't misunderstand, you know, but... I also know that I wanted to own a candy store and a running store and a this and a that. So it's like, take the time. I think it's super important to take the time to figure out what kind of real estate business you want to own as well. And I had glimpses of that too, but it, to your point, it wasn't until I really started to get into a group and that I really had a business partner that um, we were doing similar things very similar things, but somewhat different because of the way that he was approaching it from outside of a tie with the brokerage. And I thought, you know, here we are, we're doing the same thing. And I like this. I like working from home. I like having efficiencies and additional things to do. Like, why am I not doing his type of real estate? and learn more. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't until I had that experience of being able to be, as you're saying, around other people, hear what they're mm -hmm. doing. I mean, yep. I shared with somebody the other day, uh, they were just saying some a, a statement of, I respect your time and I know you have other things to do. I know you work full time, you know, for a, a company. And I also know that on the weekends, you're doing your real estate business, you know, what kind of real estate business do you do? And I told him, he's like, I'm sure you've got clients and stuff that you're seeing and running around and all those things. And I said, I wholesale, I work with investors. And he was like, say what? I've been in the industry for 23 years. I don't know what that means. So oh, do you know what right. I'm saying? So I go back to, yep. to say that to you, like 23 years, he's been in the industry and he doesn't even know what something is that's been around probably just as long as he's been in the industry. Wow. But yeah. has he always been in just one space and does he collaborate with other people like you're encouraging yourself to do? The more right. you do, the more you know and the more you realize what to turn off and what to turn on and use. You know, very mm -hmm. good point. Mm hmm mm hmm No, you guys are, uh, you guys are hitting it on the, on the nail right there because, uh, um, the changing of times, yeah. you know, we're, we're going into this changing of times and, you know, like, th like that challenge, um, for me was, uh, right before COVID. Yeah. So when I got my license at that time, right before I got COVID, it was like, okay, I mean, before we got COVID and all of a sudden it was like, I'm in the industry and boom, this happened. So now the dynamic changed. And so, um, you know, with that being said, as a real, you know, becoming that real estate agent, getting that license, I got hit with the noise, just like you guys said. Um, 
as soon as you come out and you're like, hey, I'm a real estate agent, you have like different people calling out and telling you, hey, you know, come join us, come join us, come join us, come join us. And you're all excited because you're like, you're really wanted. <laughs> it makes you feel good, you know? And so you're just trying to listen to everything that's going on. So you're listening to this YouTube video from this person and you're listening to this group here from this person. And again, year. I got signed on with the brokerage because I wanted to be able to say, okay, if I, somebody does come to me, I'll at least know, you know, at least I have a brokerage that I, you know, that I represent and I can do my job. And then after a while, it was like, what do I do? So even when I was like, what do I do? I was still listening to everybody else, not knowing what direction to go to. And it made sense because everybody has something to say. Everybody has a suggestion. Everybody has their opinions. And everything makes sense. But at the end of the day, it was like, who really is Marilyn Porter? Mm -hmm. And what can she offer to real estate? And where, who am I really, who, who really is my audience? Like, who do I really need to focus on? Like. I don't want to just get everybody because I can't take everybody, but who do I need to focus on? Mm -hmm. And it took one group. It started with one group um, where she was basically, and she was a marketing group. And she basically was saying that, um, you know, she had homework for us to do because it was, it was a group that I, I participated in. So let's say I'm still in. And it was, who is your audience? Who do you want to focus on? You want to focus on like-minded people like you so that you can help others. And how do you do that? So it was, it was then at that point after my first year, it was like, nothing's going on here. You know, transactions are not happening. I'm trying to call everybody that I know and everybody's just like, Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you girl. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, Oh yes. Right, so they got me. They said they got me. And then, you know, you find out that when you want to sell the lipstick, I'll buy like, your nail polish. It's like, what you doing? <laughs> yeah. It's like, what are you doing? I, I said, I was a real estate agent. You can't, why don't you tell me that you're looking for a house? I was out, and, and it's like, well, that's your sphere. <laughs> you know how to do Yeah, girl, I knew you was doing real estate, but, you know, they tagged me on it, and I was looking at the, and your feelings get hurt a little bit. It's like, but you know I was in real estate. And that happened over and over and over again for, like, the first two years. And I was sitting here like, really? Okay, I got you. You know, I'm not mad. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the inside, on the inside, I was, my heart was breaking. I had a little crack in my right. heart. Yeah, she chose CVS <laughs> over Walgreens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, do they really like me? Do they really like me enough to do business with me? Like, you know, it, but it made you think. It made yeah. you think. Mm -hmm. And my mindset started to change. And what it ended up being was I realized that I had to start finding Marilyn mm -hmm. and then sticking to one thing, meaning stay focused on what, not really worrying about the audience more so, but just showing people who I am. Because people in the business, when they, when they do business with you, they want, they want to know that they can trust you. They want to know that they know you and they want to like you, you know? And so at the same time, I put all together trust know and like and i use that as my focus because nobody all my friends like me because they like me they don't like right. me because i'm you know i'm working at the i was working at the bank or i was working you know for you know old navy back in the day or anything like that they know me because they like me they are they're around me because they they truly enjoy our conversations and our meetups and so i started to stick shy away from what everybody else is telling me. And I started to just really focus on me. And it started with my mindset. Yeah. Because it was important for me. And so once I noticed that I started to, to portray that, because they were like, girl, you gotta do videos. You gotta shoot videos every, you know, once, once, cause we're in COVID now. So nobody can go yeah. talk to the people. So you gotta shoot videos now. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do what? <laughs> They're like, yeah, you gotta go on social media. I'm like, when I go on Facebook, no. Facebook for me was just scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just scrolling, talking about, oh, that's cute. And I like, and oh, and share. 
it was now, hey girl, how you doing? I'm in real estate. How about you? Like, what's going on? Talk to me. Share with me. If you guys are interested, let's talk. You know, I had to do those videos and it put me out of my comfort zone because mm -hmm. again, like Lashonda, and you know, I'm I'm just I was like, uh uh, I'm too old for this. <laughs> <laughs> my kids are laughing at me as I'm doing a TikTok, like not TikTok video, an Instagram video, and they're like, girl, what you doing? I was like running around doing all kinds of things, you know. And I was just like, okay, I can't believe I just did that video. But no and you know, somebody said, Girl, where's your eyebrow? <laughs> You know, when you do a video, it's like, girl, where's your eyebrow? So I was just like, oh, okay. You know, but that was, that was my first, you know, that was my, that was my interaction in social media. But then when you realize it, it's really not about them or those nays those naysayers that try to knock you down. It's more about what energy level you're sending out. And I changed my mindset to do that. So I started sharing me walking because I needed to lose weight. And I felt like oh, I'm, getting, you know, I'm getting older. So I was sharing that. I was sharing who I am. And I started sharing when I go out with my friends and when I'm hanging out with my family, if I got to hang out with my family, or because I'm kind of like a half empty nester and half got kid at home, <laughs> I had to, you know, I'm sharing, I'm trying to share those experiences. But now I'm like, you know what? It's not about my family. It's not about my business. It's about me. Mm -hmm. And it really is. So I started sharing that. And when I started sharing that, people get to know me. So when I send them a link on me, they can find me and know what I do and what I like. And they can decide for themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of... And now it's to the point where all that noise that I was hearing before, I can be strategic on how to deal with that noise like yeah now it's okay well i want to market myself i want to figure out how to market myself better I, and i watch everybody and what they do and I'm, okay and i'm starting to say you know what it's not even about what they do it's more about what i do yes let me let me do me yes yep you yes know? yes let yep. me do me and let me do it on my own time in my own way yep and we'll just start from there Yes. And that's where it comes down to. And that's how you create your business. That's how you create your brand. And that's how you you learn to, um, that's how I learned to overcome my challenge as being a being an agent for the last couple of years. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, it's been, and it's been an amazing ride. And I can't even complain. <laughs> you know, do me. <laughs> so, I'm, yeah, but I can just say, you know, just sharing the experience. Yeah. You know, talking to LaShonda and talking to you, you know, we all go through our different things. Like, you know, I sit there and say, oh, dang, Mandy, Mandy's got it going on. She, she can brand herself like nobody's business. She's up there doing the, you know, doing the, it, the IGs and you're like, oh, okay. And, yep. doing, you know, I see, I see it. And I'm like, okay. And then I watch LaShonda. I'm like, LaShonda, where you at? Where you at, girl? Where you at? <laughs> Still, but still, way, 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 way back in the corner, right? <laughs> hey, you, you have to meet. You have Slowly to meet. Shine out. Slowly you have to meet out. everybody where they need to be met, right? And and your business, it, it has to, it has to be different. Like you have to yeah. set it apart, yeah. right? Because there are people yep. that I look at too, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I could never, like. Yep. I could never do a video like that. Like, or I would never yep. want to say those types of things. Like, are you really attracting mm -hmm. clients by telling them that like, you're so annoyed that you have to drive around all day? Like who, who, who does like that's, that's a <laughs> reverse psychology or whatever they call. Like, I mean, and if people are coming to you, like, good God, you know what I mean? So like, there's all kinds of stuff out there. But Lashonda hit it, and then you you slightly are getting there, too. The biggest thing is, if you look at any one of these brands that are successful, Budweiser, Miller, McDonald's, Sonic, Geico, Prudential, like, the Mayhem guy, like, right? All those businesses, are any one of those commercials the same? No. Nope. Not one of them is the same. Yeah. What's the one common thread that they have? They all have yep. a product, right? Yep. They all have a customer or client in mind in which they are trying to attract. They are setting a story and a stage that's going to be 
empathetic and draw you in and they are consistent. They are on there uh -huh. every single day, every yep. 15 minutes, right? For 30 seconds that yeah. they get that spot, right? Or whatever their frequency is, right? And those commercials, the Mayhem guy can be doing yeah. the same darn or commercial or the Whirlpool Maytag guy that's sitting in the dishwasher, breaking up the dishwasher, and now you gotta go buy a dishwasher and it better be a Whirlpool. You know, it's like that guy has done that same commercial for an entire year, <laughs> the same thing. Yeah. And, and that's the thing that, that like you're getting to and that you need to realize you need to just find the one thing that's you and make that yep. your message and make that consistent and yep. make it fluid so people know you because there is someone else out there LaShonda that doesn't want to mm -hmm. be on social media either that mm -hmm. thinks that social media uh -huh. is weird or thinks that it's silly that that's how we connect with people or maybe they're even angry that like they think that that's how we make friends now is on social media you know like and they're gonna appreciate that that's not your jam you know and the same thing uh -huh. for like Vera Lynn and or for this guy that I tell you about that's always doing reverse psychology like somebody finds that funny and somebody's yep. going to want to be with that person for that reason but it doesn't mean that we have to do that too and it doesn't mean that we have to do all of those things right somebody said to me the yep. other day we should get on tiktok are you on tiktok and i was like i'm not on tiktok i'm not on tiktok because last time i heard about tiktok i heard that there was a governmental thing so i'm not on tiktok and i'm not going to be on tiktok i'm on instagram <laughs> instagram and instagram is my jam you know what i mean like i gotta do it anything else i don't have time for anything else <laughs> you know right. yeah. you go for it you do uh -huh. tiktok if you want but you probably won't do tiktok because you don't really do instagram and you don't really do facebook either so just pick one <laughs> and you do it you do it turn off the noise turn off the noise stop telling me to do what you really want to do and you just do it <laughs> you know yeah. like yeah yeah, yeah. Pick yep. the mission, pick the mission and stay consistent, you know? Oh. That's, it. That's it. That's exactly it. Being consistent is the goal, is the main key out of the whole thing. It's connecting and being consistent. When you're collaborating with others, you know, the, and this is what comes down to our seven seats. When we're collaborating with, with others and we're having those conversations, you're not going to know. Um, and perfect example, um, I was speaking to someone yesterday, uh, at, you know, because I have another job. I don't just do real estate. I have other, another job where I also get to speak to other people. And I'm talking to people all the time. I get yelled at every day, but I talk to people <laughs> all the time. And, and, you know, in between those getting yelled at <laughs> throughout the day, I, um, you know, throughout my afternoon, um, what it is is I always have that one that just really connects with me because they're willing to listen. To what I have to say, yep. they, I'm educating them because a lot of people, you know, everyone wants to be educated. Yes, there is so much out there that it becomes overwhelming. So much information, you know, the society do things and just Google it. Everybody's like, "Oh, well, how do you do it? Just Google it." I'm not telling my kids how to, you know. Yeah. I don't even tell my own kids to <laughs> Google it. I, I, at one point or other, I'm like, I'm telling you, this is how you do it. And it's what you're going to do, step by step. And then they're like, well, I could have just Googled it. Really? Could you? <laughs> well, if that's the case, then you go ahead and do that if that's your if that's your thing. But, you know, when it comes down to it, I had a conversation the other day, and the guy, he had a business. And, um, you know, what it was is he had a business, and during COVID, he was really impacted. And a lot of businesses were, you know. And because he said I wasn't connected with other people, I missed out on the having to you know, apply for PPP, mm. you know, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about that. And they were like, yeah, that was how people kind of got, you know, over that hump. Yep. I said, yes. And that just told me right there, connection is so important.
collaborating with others and having that social group that you can go to, which yep. is my social group. And I will tell you, C2C is on point every time. And I know I'm going to holler at them later. I don't get to talk to them every day like I used to because I have another job as well as trying to build my real estate business. But I connected with one, one group. And because of that group, it allowed me to open myself mm -hmm. and expand my business even more mm -hmm. where I didn't want to just say, Oh, I just have a license, you know, yeah. and this business allows you the opportunity to talk to so many people that had that same mindset as you and that are willing to do the same thing as you, whether it be in real estate, whether it be in uh, doing donuts, whether it be, go, you know, a car wash, uh, mobile detailing, whether it be, you know, I get to listen and talk to all these different people and I enjoy that. And that's one of the reasons why I've learned to overcome my challenges as an agent. And it's helped me to gravitate to, you know, getting to a closing and taking that family and leading them to their, you know, to that need. You know, you know I, I just, I, I have that. I love that feeling to see them mm -hmm. signing that paper and saying, this is my house, you know, and having them share with me their fears and saying, I don't know if I can do this. And I'm like, well, if you couldn't do it, then, you know, you can always step back. And they're like, no, uh -uh, no. Do you know, I worked really hard to get here. Then let's move on. Let's go. You yeah. know, and I like to hear that. And I want to be that encouraging person for them. Uh, and, and that's why, you know, I've learned to overcome for this last couple of years. I've learned now actually for the last couple months. Yeah. Last, yeah. Last six months. I've really just learned to overcome and push all the noise and, and just do me and yeah. be me Yeah. because that's who I want to, I want to work with someone like me. So yeah. if I want to work with someone like me, then I, I would hope that somebody else would want to work with me as well. Yeah. So, um, if that makes sense, but, <laughs> but for the most part, you know, it's just, it's a, it's, it's an enjoyable ride and I love sharing it. And now Mandy comes and says, Hey, let's do this. This is, uh, Facebook live video. I'm like, huh? Yeah, we can do it two Saturdays out the, out the month. And I'm like, huh? You know, <laughs> it's my way to get on Facebook. <laughs> it's my way. <laughs> yep. Yes. Now I can is. check, now can check it off the list and say, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not doing any TikTok. Bear for the buyers. I'm not doing That's any me. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, exactly, exactly. And now we got LaShonda up here. And, you know, um, and we're happy to share this moment with you because now you're up here and, you know, and, and we're seeing you smile and people get to see who LaShonda is. Right. And, then, you know, and, uh, yeah, it, we have to do it. We just have to be consistent. So, yeah. We do. We have to be like that. Like yeah. And I, you know what I like that you said barely when you said that it took you, you knew, like, you, I think you said years, but then you even broke it down to months and you said, you know what, over the last six months, you know what I mean? Like that's uh -huh. when your, you know, light bulb went off and it was like, uh, no, I have this right. Yes. And the, the beauty uh -huh. in like, and then you also talked about the mindset, right? is mm -hmm. even for myself when i was like when and i would just say for me over the you no know, of course it's, it's it's a slow progress mm -hmm. but i knew i was like okay like you got your license for a reason right you didn't just go and study all that time right and do mm -hmm. mm -hmm. just to be a secret agent yeah. you did it right because you felt like you had something that you can provide to somebody else, like I like how you said, be like, like person like you, you can share that experience with that person, right? Yep. And then when you said that your your light came on, and for me, that mind shift, right? Because for me, you know, I'm, like, I'm not doing social media, I'm not getting on live, I'm not. And that was for me was fear because I was scared to do it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Thinking, worrying about what somebody else would think, as opposed to, yeah, like, why do you care? <laughs> you know what I mean? If yeah. what you're doing, right, mm -hmm. is you feel that what you're doing is 
beneficial to you, can help someone, right? Mm -hmm. And you um, feel proud and you are, you know, okay with the product or service you're pushing out there, that is going to be meant for the person to receive that wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. Not the person that's uh -huh. going to nitpick it because that's not who it's for. Yep, yep. It's for, right. you said that, you said that you are here to serve those people who are there to receive what you have. And that uh -huh. is now I'm finally <clears throat> turning that mind shift to where it's about me. Yeah. I have to put me out there and whoever receives me will receive me because at the end of the day, I'm not going to be for everybody mm -hmm. and everybody's not going to be for me. I just need to be for those who would love to receive LaShonda and then in turn, LaShonda will definitely receive you. Yep. So definitely that mm -hmm. mind shift is, has mm -hmm. been key for me. And for me, I've noticed that for me over the past couple of weeks, because remember when you asked me, she, Vera was like, you're going to go Facebook Live. Like, instantly, I was like, my head was like, heck no. <laughs> <laughs> but. And then, and then the like, table turned. It's like, okay, no, that's like, can. Because that's the fear. And I said, no, I'm going to do it. And even up until last night, I was like, no, I'm not doing it. Oh, no, I'm not doing it. And I'm sitting here talking, and it was like, what were you scared of? <laughs> Because my thing is, if I'm sitting here, Mandy even said it when we first started. She was like, we're not going to worry about whether people join or not. The whole point is we're having a conversation. We're talking about the things that we need to talk about. Because somebody is going to be looking. And yeah. they're going to search and they're going to be like, oh, the seven seas of real estate. Oh, because we will be a podcast. We will be working on doing things. You know, like we are trying. We will be there. We may not be there right now, but that's okay. We're going to be there. So when people say, oh, well, how many people? join how many how many were on facebook live I don't know. and yeah. then i say i don't know what i don't know and i don't even know what that means if somebody joined or not if that makes a difference right <laughs> like right. <laughs> you know what i mean i don't know the if they that. like it or not if that's gonna make a big deal <laughs> oh all i know is that we had a good time and we enjoyed ourselves and it was a great conversation like we're doing right now and, and, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just matters about h how we overcome those challenges. And like, and I was, when we were talking last night, man, he was like, what do you want to talk about? This is exactly what I want to talk about because it's simply just conversation. These are things that as agents we go through on a daily basis. Even the ones that are 20 year veterans and been mm -hmm. in the business for 30, 40 years. I talked to a little lady, she was in the business for 30, 40 years. She said 40 years. I said 40 years. And she said, yeah, and she just enjoys it. She enjoys doing open houses. Mm. That's her thing. That's her jam. 
Nobody wants to do open houses in her office, so she does it. And that's her thing because she doesn't have a problem going in on a Saturday and welcoming families to come into this beautiful home and seeing what this beautiful home can offer, whether it's a resale or a new build or anything. She's like, it's somebody's home. Somebody's going to walk in and feel like this is home for them. Mm -hmm. And I just hope that we can guide them through getting to that process. She probably would have been the best that's best lady at the cosmetic counter you know what i mean like i envision that person is like the person that's standing with the estee lauder bottle as you're walking through you know dillard's like hey you know (laughs) she just loves to talk to people you know what i mean like that's that's why she and that's her thing you know what i mean and and it's her way of as like lashana said earlier purpose being able to have a purposeful Mm -hmm. role in the business that she's creating because she feels like every person she's talked to, you know, she has the potential Mm -hmm. to offer them something. And just like Vera Lynn, you're saying this beautiful house, she gets to represent this beautiful house and share that experience on behalf of the seller or the the potential buyer. You know, it's, it's whatever Mm -hmm. that person's thing is. You know, and she may never be on any of those yep. pl- other platforms, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's... she doesn't and she doesn't. She's been doing it for 40 years and she doesn't do not one video. She said that's I don't, that's something I just don't do. So instead, she talks to people. She does open houses. That's how she gets relieved. And we'll talk about that for maybe, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll be talking about that in the near future about building leads and getting with, you know, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the a team or a group to help build your lead generation yeah. so that you're able to mm-hmm. um, succeed in this business because it does it matters talking to somebody at least once a day if you can talk to somebody brand new for once a day then that's great or, or five people uh five about 15 people a day you can do that you already you probably already do it you just don't even realize it so yeah um you know there's just things that everybody has to share and you know and i and i just appreciate the collaboration and the, you know, the conversations that I have and meet with people. And, you know, I love to hear the the challenges and that's why I want to talk about it today because it is important. Those are the things that we, that we need to talk about to know how does these people really succeed? Cause I want to know how McDonald's did it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that is on the that's how I've been my kids for years, many years. That's that's a TV show, The Foods That Made Us. That's on the History Channel. You just need to watch yeah. that one. But I'm sure, you know, all those brands, just just like us. Yeah. You know, j- just like us. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's just it. And and yeah. you're going to get the, the client base and or people are going to come in and out of your life and they're going to serve different purposes. You know, I know that we're we're all spiritual people too, so it's like, you can say over the last six months, the people that have come in your life, they helped you and maybe they served just a temporary purpose, right? Maybe the goal was just to help you get that mind Uh shift to recognize I've got this, right? Or for you to figure out, I can turn off the noise and I can step out of my comfort zone, right? And at the end of the day, if that's Uh what they did for you, that's it. That's great. That that's, that's all they have, have to do for you. And then the next, the next season will turn. And the next person or the next things will come into your life that are going to help you get where you need to be. And I think one of the biggest lessons I've, I've learned hard a long time ago was that you can't, you can't always plan every single thing out. You, you can't say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to be this or I'm going to make this. You have to truly walk on the time and the season in which it is for you and everybody's path is different we have to meet yep. everybody where where they are and the more you yes. can do that the more you open yourself up to receive as Lashana said earlier people that you want to be with too or that you want to serve too because you're ready to do that and they're ready to work yep. with you you know yep mm-hmm. so um, yep. anyway but yeah, thank you, Mandy. Thank you, Lashana, for joining us tonight, You're today, welcome. and oh, I tonight. Feels like it when we get to Florida. It's right. Yeah, oh, right. I was gonna say, like crazy the sun here. is shining finally. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, well, good for you. Look, you because sure, when that 
Florida right now. We have straight rain. Yeah. But um, thank you, Ashana, for joining. And uh, Mandy, uh, it's been awesome. Uh, it's been an awesome ride. And before we get off, because it is tw- it's, uh, over our time, but you uh, tell us before, actually, Lashana, how can we find you? Let's start with that. Um, I am on um, Instagram at LaShonda the Realtor is my IG and it's the same for Facebook. Got it. Got it. And you are located in Florida at the Florida Realty and Commercial LLC. Florida Along with me. Virtual Brevard County, Florida. Yay. Yay. And Mandy, how do we find you? Mandy St. Ange with Monarch Movement Real Estate Group, brokered by EXP Realty here in Frisco, Texas. And uh, you can find me on Instagram. I'll let you all know that several times today. Um, at Mandy.Stange on Instagram. And then I float in and around uh, Facebook on a couple of different profiles, but Mandy St. Ange Realtor. Um, and I service Collin County. And Vera Lynn. Awesome, awesome. Yes, well, like I said uh, before, yes, you found me early. I probably, you probably heard me say it for Verilyn for the buyers on Instagram. You can find me there, and you can also find me on uh, Facebook at Verilyn Porter. Yes, I have several different profiles, but there should be the one with the blue jacket. Me. <laughs> I'm nothing. <laughs> I'm with Florida Realty and Commercial here at uh, LLC at uh, Melbourne. We service Titusville, Melbourne area, and all over Florida. So we are we are working to expand, and we can't wait to talk again and connect again. Yep. So thank you, guys. Yep. So we'll see you again right. what, on the fourth Saturday live, if you're jumping in live. Yeah. Uh, at uh, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, 11 a.m. Uh, EST, and I believe our next topic will be um, working with uh, preferred partners and uh, or preferred vendors and how we help each other um, work collaboratively to network and grow each other's businesses. So, um, Lashana, thank you yeah. for joining us today, and you're welcome anytime. Um, we look forward to having you chat with us more often. Um, this doesn't have to just be a two gal show so um thank you both very much have an awesome weekend and uh keep changing the lives of others all right bye ladies bye bye, bye.